did that win do for you guys confidence wise after coming off that tough weekend in Kentucky? Um, it was big. It definitely uh, it just helped us remember just like who we were and our our goals as you know a program as you know our, our unit just how we feel about each other and it just helped us from it just reminded us really just what we were trying to do and what we were trying to accomplish tj the last three second halves i think you guys have only given up 12 points and that was all against missouri what's been the adjustment on those three half times um you know the coaches come in and do their uh, adjustments with the scheme and what they want to call and things and then uh you know guys just realize that we 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 build off a win in the fourth quarter, second half, and just win in the fourth quarter. And that's, uh, I mean, we talked about that in our, our off-season program, win in the four, fourth quarter. So, Has it been one overall th thing in each of those three second halves that you guys have done, or does it vary game to game? It varies. It definitely varies. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just we always try to finish strong. Do you guys consider yourself a bend but don't break defense? Yeah, definitely. What comes into that? I guess why, why that mentality instead of like maybe shutouts every game? Um, you know, we don't. The guys that we play are good. We play good teams. Um, you're not gonna shut them out every time. They're gonna make some plays. We're gonna make some plays. Um, but you can't let one touchdown and one field goal affect the outcome of a game. So you have to keep playing the whole game regardless of what's going on. How much of a point of pride is it to be able to bow up in the red zone like that? Excuse me. To be able to to kind of stiffen in the red zone the, the way you guys have? How much of a point of pride is that? Oh, it's big. Um, that's just something that, you know, that's been here with the program since uh, Coach Muschamp has been here. But, you know, that's where you stiffen up and you bow your neck and you get ready to make a stop, um, hold them to a field goal. That's a win for the defense or for the team, really. But, you know, you just you don't want anybody to get in your end zone. You saw uh, a and quarterback last year. How does he look different from a year ago? Um, Pretty much the same guy, I think. You know, he's just had more experience with their offense and stuff. Uh, um, he's definitely matured from last year, but we still kind of expect him to do what he did last year. How much do you th think he's improved his passing ability? Um, I mean, I think he's been the same guy, honestly. TJ, Coach Punchchamp said Sunday night he and the coaches were going to spend a long night looking at the run defense and trying to see if there was something different that they could do. Did they present anything differently to you when y'all got together this week? No. Exactly the same. Uh, it's just been about the same. Uh, same thing, same uh, ideas of, you know, stopping the run, everyone doing their job and fitting their gaps. Um, at the end of the day, that's what stops the run. So everyone's taking a big, uh, made a big push towards doing their assignment and just staying assignment sound all around. You, were, you seem like a quiet guy. Some of your teammates defensively have not been quiet this year, and it's gotten some flags. Does there have to be a balance between some quiet guys and some loud guys? Where do you come up? I mean, what's healthy and what crosses the line? Yeah, um, definitely we have a, a, guy, a lot of guys who are enthusiastic. Yeah. You know, you have to play with passion, especially on defense. Um, and we have a lot of passionate guys, but that line is just you, – you cross that line when the play is over with and you're still, you know, talking and stuff. And, Really, I think that you know it's it's all fine to talk and play with your opponent, get in his head. But at the same time, you got to get ready to get uh, lined up again and get your call and play the game. Um, you know, there's no tough guy stuff after the play, or whatever that is. You know, just in between the plays, play football. Do you feel like you guys are doing a good job of that as a defense? Um, I think that we're definitely getting better. I think in the beginning. Uh, we let a lot of outside noise bother us to get to us, things that didn't really matter. Um, but definitely now guys are starting to hunker down and pay attention to what's really important for us. Do you talk much during the game? Do you talk to your opponents during the game? Is that, we don't see anything. You don't do anything demonstrably, but I guess you could be. Yeah, I get a little, a little bit. Just depends. I mean, most of the time I'm just trying to get the call and line somebody up. But, you know, I'll make a play or something. Or, Something happens like that, I'll definitely say something. Have the teams you've played this year said more to you guys? Does yeah. it feel like? Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of guys, you know, you'll see them the previous.
previous years of games that they've played before, and you can see what they do after the play. And I think that's one of the things that, uh, I mean, you guys don't hear to see it, but, you know, there's always the other teams always talking to us, too. It's not just our, our team responding to anything. There's a lot of guys that are out there just talking and trying to get you to do something and mess your team up. Since y'all have had some issues the last couple of day, games, do you expect them to continue to do that to try to bait you guys into some problems? Yeah, definitely. But uh, I think our guys are really headstrong now, especially knowing that teams are going to come in trying to do that to us. So um, I think that, you know, that's kind of expected going into games now. So it's not going to be as much of an issue. After the Kentucky game, uh, you guys were talking about filling the gaps, you know, that was the problem. And so now after the Missouri game, you're still talking about how upset were the coaches that that that, that still uh, remained a problem? Well, we came out with the win at the end of the day. So uh, that's, I mean, that's always a plus. But, you know, that thing is the, the filling the gaps part just comes down to, you know, taking more time outside of the building and under just, you know, understanding what you have to do. Um, you know, you're not, there's never a perfect football game either. So there's going to be some misfits and things. But, you know, the coaches just want to, everyone to understand that it takes more than just coming up here, going through meetings and uh, listening to their coaching. Like, you have to do more stuff outside of the building. What's helped y'all be so good on third down guard? It's just the mentality. We got to get off the field on third down to win. Um, that was a big problem last year, and that was definitely something that we came into this year wanting to be better at. It's getting off the field on third down. So, how, how do y'all make that an emphasis in practice? Are there, are there certain periods where it's like, all right, this is third down, we're treating it like it's going to be? Yeah, it's game day. Third down, especially third down, is definitely like a game day mentality. Uh, try not to make any mental errors. Uh, you stiffen up your defense and get off the field. TJ, it, it, it seems like every couple of weeks you wind up against an opponent who's playing in the top 25. Um, the SEC, eight teams in the top 25 this week. Is that energizing? Does it wear you guys out? I mean, or is it just, hey, we're in the SEC, that's what it is? Exactly. We're in the SEC. Like I said earlier, every team's good. I mean, anyone can be beaten any given Saturday. So I feel like for us, it always comes down to us and what we do in our program, how we prepare throughout the week. and coming out and executing on the weekends. That's the biggest thing, executing and finishing. Texas a running back Trevion Williams. What stood out to you the two times you guys have seen him? I mean, he's a solid back. He's definitely uh, one of those guys that can take the ball anywhere. Um, he's all, I mean, since we played him, he's been a solid back. So I'm sure he'll be even better this year. Um, Looking forward to playing against them again. Uh, they're a little bit different. Um, I think, I mean, they also play in kind of similar schemes, but a little bit different blocking. But, you know, they, those guys, uh, they're really patient. They'll hit the ball downhill when they need to, uh, when they see an opening to do so. But, um, you know, both of those guys are really they're solid backs. Finwick, kind of him and scout team, Deshaun Finwick is kind of mirroring him. Yeah, yeah. How hard is he to bring down? Finn, we, <laughs> Finn, he's a pretty tall guy. Yeah, he's a pretty big uh, guy. He's getting a lot better. Um, definitely, uh, he's been a good scout look lately. I think that um, he'll be something to look forward to in the future. Rosendo and Damani got a lot of action um, yeah. in the linebacking court. Just what do you say to them? And how can a game like that kind of bolster their confidence going into this? I mean, that comes down to, you know, the more experience you get, like those guys got some real live game experience against a, a good team. So, um, you know, you can't make it through the SEC with two linebackers. So those guys getting in and getting reps is very important for us. So it takes some reps off of me and Sherrod. How do you feel like they played? Uh, they had uh, decent games. I think that a lot of it, like I said, just comes down to experience and seeing uh, seeing a team like that, how fast they can move at times, and just understanding how you have to get your calls in and get lined up. And um, you know, that was one of the things that I think they probably struggled with. I struggled with it myself the first time I played them, but they definitely had a that experience is the biggest thing, and they definitely had a, a, a good outing to get out there and see that. Do you feel like you guys have played a, a difficult schedule to this point? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like everyone that we played has just been, uh, I, I feel like we've just beat ourselves a lot of the times. Um, you know, I, I feel like everyone could be beaten, like everyone on our schedule. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just have to continue to prepare the way that we've been preparing and executing.